video and today we're vlogging i just got back from hiking up north mountain as you can see i'm a sweaty mess you saw me hike camelback in the last weekly vlog so if you missed it definitely go check that out because that one was definitely worth vlogging um it's a hot day in phoenix let me turn this ac on we're gonna go get some smoothie bowls so let's go tired I'm like stretched out on the floor I just showered got so fresh and so clean I'm literally laid out <laughs> like I have no responsibilities Ugh. I put all these like adulting tasks on my to-do list and I just can't be bothered to do any so what am I gonna do instead I'm gonna meditate <laughs> because if my mind ain't right how can I do anything right you know you know, that makes sense to me. Now is the time to release that which no longer serves you. Hello, welcome to this guided meditation. Through this meditation, you will be able to liberate yourself from something or some things that no longer benefit you in a positive way. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday and we are in our productivity robe. I'm having breakfast in bed. I'm also back to drinking my green juice. Every morning I try to drink at least eight ounces. And I also have some ginger peach tea steeping right here. And um, I'm having avocado toast. And it looks kind of gross. But I put the sweet chili. Oh, not sweet chili. The chili crunch from Trader Joe's on top. Oh, 10 out of 10. Totally recommend. I also added a little bit of honey. Never added honey. But for some reason today I was craving it. So here we are. Today I am focused on my business. Wildly Ridden is four months old. And I'm kind of having a bit of a creative block in terms of product offerings. I wanted to originally go in more of a like productivity route. So I wanted to start out with journals and then planners and, you know, desk calendars and all of this stuff. And for some reason, like I'm having a change of heart where I really want it to be more of a safe haven, safe haven type of feel where people just feel safe and welcomed and, um, I'm trying to figure out what type of products would give that feel, you know, other than journals. So if you guys have any ideas of things you would want to see from me and Wildly Written, definitely leave suggestions in the comments because we want to continue to thrive and expand. And um, I know Wildly Written is so much bigger than what I can see right now. And so I, I really would appreciate your guys' help. What do you want to see from me? Yeah, so we're going to do some brainstorming. I was watching just Chanel's vlog where she was talking about business essentials. So you guys should definitely go check her out. She's a cancer and she lives in Atlanta. She's also a flight attendant. I never met her in person, but we chit chat here and there on Instagram. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to continue on with my day eating this breakfast. And hopefully we'll get into something interesting. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Hey 
guys, I am sitting in bed and still working, but I didn't even leave my baby here today, y'all. This is how you know I'm like in my zone. I started watching like this little inspirational message on TikTok and I really wanted to speak from my heart today uh, surrounding the topic of discouragement and disappointment and um, just not letting it defeat you because there will be seasons where you don't feel as encouraged or motivated to keep going and it seems like life is happening to you but it's important to remember that life is always happening for you and sometimes it's just important to get back on the potter's wheel and realize that God he's the potter he's the he's the mastermind behind your life and he has everything in his control he has everything from a wide perspective that you probably can't understand right now and it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you but God has the full picture view of your life and um yeah sometimes you just got to get back on the potter's wheel and a lot of times we want to be made into this beautiful masterpiece and we forget that sometimes when you're on the potter's wheel if you've ever done ceramics sometimes you have to break it down to build it back up and sometimes you may shape it a bit wonky so you have to you know revamp it and tap on certain pressure points to make it fit the exact design that you're looking for and so when you feel the pressure of life happening know that you're on the potter's wheel and that God is molding you and shaping you and pushing you to heal things that you didn't want to deal with and he's revealing things to you that you have to come face to face with in order to get to your next level in order to go to your next season and so trust that you know God hasn't forgotten about you that your life isn't in a disarray like God literally sees you I believe that our lives are predestined and so with that it encourages me because I understand that this isn't the end for me. You know, that where I find myself right now is not the end of my story. And God has so much greater for me. So I don't know if that helped anyone today. But just know that your life is on the potter's wheel. And sometimes it'll feel like you're, the pressure is being applied so hard. But some of the most beautiful things come out of that pressure being applied. And you have no idea what you can birth. What can come out of your situation if you just fix your focus and you know reset your mind um yeah i really want to incorporate some of this somehow into wildly written you guys definitely leave some ideas down below i think i already said that but i've been over here brainstorming going to town with my little list so i feel a creative spark coming and i think i just need to talk it out with y'all so yeah <laughs> What's up guys? So we ended up in Target and of course I'm in the journal section because this is my happy place and I'm looking at some of the cute new items. Well, new to me. Um, how adorable is this little sushi journal? I'm obsessed. This one is also cute, just very simple, a little gratitude journal. I already have a gratitude journal so I'm like forcing myself not to buy that. <laughs> But it's super cute. Yes, queens. I just like to look at the inside. That's cute too. It's textured. It's cool to just come in here and get inspiration. And um, just see what other people's creativity is bringing out of them. There's never any competition. If you guys can see how many journals are here, there's room for everybody. And so having a business that sells journals doesn't inhibit me from, you know, t saying how beautiful someone else's product is. Yes, queen. Okay. I'll just grab some of this. This is my favorite, like, meatless substitute. All right, y'all, we're getting out of here.
Beautiful people. Uh, uh, uh. It's freaking Wednesday, and your girl hasn't vlogged all day. But to be fair, I've spent the day pouring into myself. I've been listening to 13 things that mentally strong people don't do here on YouTube. There's like an audio recording and I'm like three-fourths done with the book already because I listen to everything on two times speed. So, so good. I also have been watching the Derek Chauvin trial and so we all know how that's going if you're keeping up with it. I'm getting ready to make a smoothie bowl because why not? I tried these last night. I thought that I was buying dragon fruit and I bought passion fruit. These things are so freaking sour, but this would taste so good in like a frozen drink. So I'm actually not gonna use these tonight. So let me put these back. Did you miss me? I'm back. I'm making a smoothie bowl. This is the acai that I use. So many people say acai, but I'm pretty sure it's acai. Who cares? Who, who really cares? No one. All right, so we got our, our acai, and this is just, I think it's strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and I use a Ninja Blender, oh, 10 out of 10, do recommend. I will actually link this one down below. I got this on Black Friday, but I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon. So if I can, I'll link it down below. Anyway, so we're gonna start out with putting the acai in there. the saddest acai bowl I've ever eaten but I don't have any bananas and I don't have any fresh fruit but I love it with honey mm -mm. mm. y'all I think we should watch a movie mm -mm. we're gonna watch the power project with Jamie Foxx Hopefully it's good. Mm -mm -mm. If ever you were curious, action movies are like my favorite genre. I love action movies. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, I don't wanna spoil this for y'all. But so far, it's so good. Yeah, so far, so good, I'm hooked. Y'all, Chica's in this movie. What? Do you guys listen to Chicaology? Her mixtape? And she had a Tiny Desk performance. If you haven't seen that, you definitely should go watch it right now. Just pause the video. I'll go watch it. Oh, the cinematography on some of these shots, the lighting is impeccable. Oh, the angles. I'm obsessed with this blue light. Oh my goodness, I love it. Ah! Y'all, there are just too, there's too many freaking surprises. Casey Neistat is in this freaking movie. I used to watch Casey all the time when he made his NYC vlogs. Okay, yeah. Y'all need to watch this. Oh, I hope it ends well. <laughs> Y'all have to comment down below if you even know half the people I'm even naming in these videos. Cause I mean, in this video, if you don't, can we even be friends? 
This is good. I wonder if that Jamie Foxx daughter in real life because she low key look like him. Now me getting nervous, bite my nails. <laughs> This concept is really kind of crazy. Let me pause this really quick. Because I remember having a conversation about police brutality, right? Like, you have all these armed, professional, professionally trained people who basically are superior in a way because they have a lot more knowledge, skill, technique than the normal average civilian. And this... Project Power is about getting this drug in the hands of people and he's saying that it's to level the playing field and that's a really crazy concept because I hope I can articulate this. I was having a conversation a long time ago but when everything was happening in 2020 with the George Floyd and he was talking about you know how the police are like heavily trained and civilians have the right to bear arms and we should bear arms and we should have a level playing field so that we're not taken advantage of and this just is a crazy concept because it paints the people out to be evil when in reality it's just like why don't they deserve to level the playing field why don't they deserve to have skill and basically superpowers um but when you put that in like everyday life type of terms like we should have our own defenses in a way I don't know I probably did a terrible job explaining that I totally wish I could articulate that better but I guess it's just interesting how it paints people out to be evil or the bad guy simply because they are taking advantage of basically a system they're taking advantage of an opportunity to be able to defend themselves and even though in this movie they're probably doing bad stuff i think about in the real world ugh, i don't even know what i'm saying i just feel like it makes sense in a weird type of way and evolved people understand that like there's always evil um a certain amount of evil that is necessary in the world and uh yeah i don't know what i'm talking about but Sounds good. This is just a really interesting concept to try to grasp right now. And it's thought provoking for sure. Yeah. Hey girl, hey. It's Thursday and I just finished taking out my braids and working out. Y'all, it's the consistency for me. We're out here moving our body. If you guys have been in a bit of a slump or feeling depressed or deeply saddened, Definitely try to work out because moving your body releases the negative and toxic stagnant energy that's in you. Emotions are energy in motion. So if you put it into motion, you can release it and let it go and set yourself free. So that's just my reasoning behind it. So. Hey guys, we're dressed. I just got on these mom jeans and this oversized speckled black tee, some nice jewels, and um, I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. I really try to throw outfits together because I feel like y'all be getting the same old Diera time after time. I'm also putting on my In The Stars scent. Oh, it smells so good. So, putting on my jewelry, I lost one of my bracelets. My subby Michael got me these and sent them to my P.O. box so many years ago. But I was doing a photo shoot in the freaking desert and lost one. So, I'm super sad. But I'm actually thinking about making bracelets. I've had this for, like, how many years? It had to be at least three years. But I thought it would be cool to do, like, some sort of jewelry. I don't know. Do you guys like bracelets? Would you want to buy those? Mantra bands are like really popular, or they were. They really had a big like hype a few years ago. But these are bracelets that like I love and adore and really would never trade out. Oh, smells so good. What are you doing? Why don't you have this in your repertoire? All right. 
All right, we're going to head head out and run some errands. Let's go. I got to find shoes, but then we're leaving. You guys, we're outside. Uh, I didn't leave the house one time yesterday. Um, also, I decided on my little Primark sandals. Do you guys remember I used to travel? Like, what even is that anymore? Uh. Okay, so stop with the dramatics, Tierra. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Sephora because I have VIB 15% off. And today's not the 19th, right? Wow, I left my phone inside. Great, great. Anyway, we're doing that. See you guys there. Trade in this passage. Here's number one. The first thing we gotta do is this. We gotta embrace our uniqueness. Your uniqueness. Is that my Bessie in a Tessie? Y'all see this red Tesla? Way go. Mm. Y'all, we made it to Sephora. Mm -mm. And by we, I mean me and my little sisters. Want to say hi or not? It's so dark. Healthy, beautiful smile. Love when we get out. born this way so let's figure this out all right y'all is there so, a prayer? yeah i'm trying to born this way foundation this is maple and this is chestnut y'all probably can't even tell the difference but i think we're gonna go with chestnut yeah i think that looks good all right we're coming back y'all we're leaving the not me running up a check okay should we drive over there are you sure? No, it's like at the end. I'm thinking about going to Cheesecake Factory. I don't know if I'm parking. It's up to you. If you don't mind walking, we can walk. Yeah, I don't mind walking. It's such it a beautiful cold day. Out here. It's so cold in there. Like, it feels so great out here. Y'all, I always love coming to this location because the girls are always so sweet in there. Yeah. They're uber helpful. Customer service is A1. AA1. All right, let's go get some food. So, you all out of the blue one? Yeah, wow. and Thank you. Yum, Desi. Alright, if y'all have never tried these Korean barbecue cauliflower wings, what are you doing? They're phenomenal. I got the, I don't even know what this salad was called, but it looks delicious. Des got avocado egg rolls and a brioche breakfast sandwich. Y'all, looks so freaking good. clumsy uh, please don't be broken guys 
I just finished up with my coaching course. It's around 8 p.m. and I forgot that I told you guys I would come back and show you what I got from Sephora. So we're gonna make this quick. I got the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. This is an OG. Nothing does my makeup like, what's going on, dear? Get it together. Nothing sets my makeup like this. I've tried plenty, trust me. I've tried plenty and this is just that good, good. So I got that and to match, I got the Urban Decay Face Primer. It's called Longwear Foundation Grip. Um, it's the all nighter one. It preps, smooths and perfects. And I can't remember if I've used this before, have I? Um, I don't think I have, cause this packaging is different. Actually, I'm, okay, this is the one that I've used. This is the optical illusion. So I don't know. I, now I'm thinking, why did I even buy this when I have this much primer left in this one? Ugh, just be spending money, child. But yeah, so I got the primer and the setting spray. And then I went back to an OG foundation that I used to use all the freaking time. You guys saw me trying this on. This is the Born This Way, um, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Did anybody else used to get this mixed up with Lady Gaga all the time? Because didn't she have a song or something called Born This Way? Anyway, I got it in the color Chestnut. And my nails are so jacked up. So if y'all see that, don't mind me. I've been rock climbing and doing all types of stuff. And my polish has been chipping. But, um, yeah. So that is one of my favorite foundations. And then the last thing that I got is a blush. And this is like a duo blush. I have been so obsessed with like that overly blushed cheek and nose look. Um, I feel like it makes you look so youthful and just rosy and I'm excited to try out blush because I don't normally wear blush and I've never actually that I can recall purchased like a blush that I'm like yes this is my shade. I think I'm more of an orangey tone so we'll see. Hopefully this one looks good on me. I opened it up for you guys and this is just the Sephora collection. I went with more of an orangey tone and so ooh, I think this is going to be good for my skin tone. Yeah, so obviously that means I need to do a get ready with me soon. If you guys want me to do a chit chat, get ready with me. Leave some comments down below and tell me some topics you want to hear me chat about. But that's all for this evening. I'm going to work on some social media work because I am creating a workbook for one of my clients and it's all about emotional intelligence and so it's cool because as I create this workbook for her I'm also learning more about emotional intelligence and empathy and self-awareness and I'm just like y'all gotta be setting me up um but yeah all right I'm gonna get out of here and get back to my J-O-B I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow good night
I hope you all had a beautiful week. I just want to take a time out to say thank you so much for watching this week's video. I know it's been very low key. I didn't do anything extravagant, but this is a typical week in my life. Not every week is me doing high energy things, but um, yeah, I'm relaxing and enjoying my Friday night. I just finished this. I told you guys I would show you what it looked like in the next vlog. So um, this is definitely not what I anticipated creating. But for some reason it just kind of came out. So that's what we made. A little adult arts and crafts for you this week. Um, yeah, this is cool. I feel like it was just something artistic. And I was able to express myself. If you guys ever doodled in like school let me know because i'm such a doodler i can literally doodle on anything and just keep going for hours as things come to me so this is fun a little nostalgia um yeah i wish i had more watercolor because that would have been really really pretty to have it all over but anyway i'm gonna close out today's vlog you guys i didn't do anything i literally showered brushed my teeth brushed my hair and um chilled all day and it's currently seven <sighs> seven going on eight actually so i'm winding it down i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye